From private dates at home to exotic trips in Africa and talk of having children, we're looking at everything Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have said about their relationship on Spillin' the Royal Tea. Hi guys, I'm Lauren Zima. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have given just a few select interviews about their love, so we are breaking down the specifics on everything they've said, because we're obsessed. Their love was secretive for months, but after lots of rumors and speculation, Meghan finally broke her silence in the October 2017 issue of Vanity Fair, saying simply, quote, we are two people who are really happy and in love. And not long after, we got their first joint interview. In November, Harry and Meghan got engaged and gave an insightful sit down to the BBC per royal tradition. Fans found out how Harry proposed. Cozy night, it was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having- Roasting chicken, <laughs> trying to roast chicken. Trying to roast a chicken, and it was just, a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. Of course. Was it an instant yes from you? Yes. That was about a year and a half after they were introduced by a mutual friend. It was, I think, about three, maybe four weeks later that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. After a private trip to Africa bonded them. Absolutely amazing to get to know her mm -hmm. um, as, as quickly as I did. Meghan and Harry started a long distance relationship. She was still working on her show Suits in Canada. So how'd they make it work? Well, they never spent more than two weeks apart. It was just a choice, right? I think that very early on when we realized we were going to commit to each other, that we knew we had to invest the time and the energy. And to keep the relationship secret, they had to do things backwards. Cooking dinner with um, you know, just the two of us by ourselves in our mm. little cottage, um, rather than going out for dinner and being seen in public. So we, we have we reversed the whole process, which is, it's, it's, it's provided different opportunities mm. and it's made us a hell of a lot closer in a shorter space of time. That's I can, true. Kind of a blessing in disguise. The adoring pair also explained how they knew this was it. Both of us have passions for, 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 for wanting to make change, change for good. And, it was one of the yeah. first things we started talking about when we met was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world and how passionate we were about seeing change. I think that was, um, that's what got date two <laughs> in the books probably. Yeah, Meghan and Harry revealed they've gotten to know each other's families and that their own children will come, quote, in the near future. Since getting engaged, Meghan and Harry have made several appearances together, but we still haven't seen them speak much. We did get one more taste of their dynamic in February with this adorable joke. Hey, the last thing you disagreed on, how do you resolve it? Uh, I can't remember, they come so thick and thick. <laughs> We're a fantastic team, we know we are. Well, that's everything we know straight from the mouths of royals. What do you guys think of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's love for each other? And how soon do you think they'll have kids? We'd love some more royal babies. Let me know what you think. Cheerio.